Hello, welcome to the Short Span Steel Bridge Alliance's 2020 topic-based video series. In this series, we'll review basic concepts and ideas pertinent not only to engineers new to short span steel bridge design, but those looking for a refresher of fundamental concepts. In this video, we'll review some options available for short span steel bridge solutions. Our goals will be to review some of the steel solutions available for short span bridges. We'll discuss roll beams and plate girders, review buried bridges, as well as discuss press break form tub girders, and finally touch on some prefabricated solutions. Please refer to the Find a Supplier section on the SSSBA webpage for more details. One of the most common elements available for superstructures of short span steel bridges are stringers or girders. The two most commonly available options for stringers or girders are rolled beams or plate girders. A rolled beam is fabricated by rolling a blank cylinder of steel through a series of dies to create the desired shape. A common example of this would be a, a wide flange section, such as a W36 by 135, uh, all of those sections being those listed in the AISC steel construction manual. Wide flange beam shapes are commonly available up to around 120 feet in length. The other superstructure element of the stringer variety that's very common for short span applications is a plate girder. A plate girder is an element that's been fabricated by welding plates together to create the desired shape. It gives the engineer the option to tailor the flange and the web size to meet specific load demands. Plate girders can have a greater height than rolled beam girders and are not limited to standardized shapes. Also they can span up to 300 feet uh, in length. While that's outside the scope of short span steel bridges, it does give the engineer some guidance as to when to use them. Typically, uh, plate girder options don't begin to become economical until you reach span lengths of around 60 feet or more. Buried bridges are also an economical choice for bridge replacement or bridge rehabilitation. They carry their load th through soil structure interaction. And because of this interaction, the bridge structure is much lighter than conventional options. Some of the advantages of buried bridges are their low cost and speed of installation. They generally provide a low installed cost compared to other options, and the benefit is increased when you consider the fast installation times. Also, there's minimal maintenance. Buried bridges require significantly less maintenance, while periodic inspection may be required. There are no expensive bridge decks or bridge approaches uh, to maintain. They also uh, contain the advantage of durability of coatings and service life. Buried bridges are available in a variety of, variety of coatings, meeting nearly any service life requirement up to 100 years or more. Galvanized, aluminized, and polymer coated CSP are just a few of the coating options available. Finally, there are environmental benefits to buried bridges. Habitat protection and environmental enhancements are major benefits of using long span structures. Habitats are preserved by spanning the riparian zones and preserving or creating a natural stream bed. Press break form tub girders are a more innovative solution in generating a short span steel bridge superstructure and particularly one that's quite shallow. These consist of modular, galvanized, or weathering uh, shallow trapezoidal boxes that are fabricated from cold bent structural plate. A large Structural mill plate taken directly from the mill is bent in, a, bent in a large capacity press break using four bends to create the U-shaped cross section as shown in the image. A concrete deck is re recommended to be precast on the girder and then the entire modular unit can be shipped to site. Note that the system is versatile for multiple deck options and press break form tub girders are open source, meaning the design is open to all manufacturers for fabrication. Again, the system utilizes standard plate widths based on their availability, and the design has been optimized to achieve maximum structural capacity with most of the steel in the bottom flange and increased torsional resistance as well. Finally, there are several methods of prefabrication or modular bridge technology uh, that are in use to build better quality bridges faster. Some of the benefits include improving the efficiency of the bridge design process as well as the construction process. Because elements are prefabricated and arrive to the site somewhat pre-built, there's an improved uh, safety on the bridge site. 
Because construction has a tendency to be faster, there's a decrease in the disruption of traffic uh, during the life of a construction project. Because many of the elements are prefabricated, there is an en enhanced quality assurance and quality control in the delivered final product. There are also reduced environmental impacts and life cycle costs. Keep in mind that some modular bridge systems combine sections beyond just the superstructure. Some combine the superstructure and the deck surface so the entire element can be transported to one unit of the bridge site. Some of these methods apply to the substructure, superstructure, as well as the deck systems. There are many versatile prefabricated options for use in your short span project. This concludes the video on options for short span steel bridge solutions. We hope you found it informative and look forward to having you join us in the next video. Thank you for your time.